Hi YouTube friends, welcome back to JoJo's Picks. You may notice that we changed our name recently. We were Infinite Travitude, which was super hard to spell. So we switched over to JoJo Picks and uh, we are out here today going to a new Goodwill Bins we've never been to. It's in Marion, Ohio. It's been open for just a couple months, if that. So we're gonna go in there, see what they have and try to find some profits. Yep, see if we could find anything uh, that we can pick up cheap and resell online. And they also opened a new Goodwill store in Besiris, uh, which is a town like 15 minutes away from here. So um, I think if we have time, we're gonna head over there and uh, see if we can find something there too. All right, thanks for thrifting with us. Yay. Here we are, we went to the bins, and this was the first time that we had been to these bins, as we said, around Marion. And I got so excited when I walked in. Their shoes were really nicely organized. They had them all rubber banded together. And the first thing I see is that single halflinger wool clog uh, laying on top of everything. So I snatched that up and I carried it around the whole time, hoping to find the mate, and I kept looking in other people's carts, you know, trying to give them just a little side eye and looking to see if they had the other shoe, but nobody had it. I've been dying to find a pair of those halflingers because um, they can have a great sell-through rate, anywhere in between 200 to 400%. Some of the designs seem to sell even faster. Um, and you can expect to get 25 all the way up to $60 for a pair of pre-owned halflingers on eBay. So I really wanted to find that other shoe, but it didn't turn out, so we had to leave it behind. Um, we did find these Sanook. They are the yoga mat. I think they're called yoga mat to slingbacks or something along that line. Uh, they were, I grabbed them because they were in a larger size, a size 11. I have them listed in our store right now uh, for about $20. They looked brand new. I am hoping that once it hits flip-flop season, we'll sell these because Sanooks don't seem like they're selling like they used to. And I already have another pair in our inventory. So hopefully those will go though. And I figured it was worth a gamble since it was such a large size and we probably paid a dollar for these. I took a chance on it. Um, Jason had found these Johnson and Murphy wingtip shoes. They just don't have the best sell through rate necessarily. You have to find the right Johnston and Murphy shoes. On eBay, it's about an 18% sell through rate and sometimes you're not getting the best return. So I looked them over, the condition, I just couldn't get real excited about them, so I ended up leaving those behind. But we'll show you some of their website too. Um, Johnston and Murphy, in their store, their things can go for a higher dollar. It's you know one of those higher mall brands, but that doesn't necessarily always equate over to the secondary market. Like if you go and you find something expensive at the mall, it doesn't necessarily, you know, command a high price on the secondary market. So that's one of those brands that uh, proves that. We did find these Fit Flops. They have about a 10% sell-through rate right now. If I went into Terapeak and looked over more of um, like the past few years to pull in like summer data and everything, the sell through rate might be better um, when it's more flip flop season. But I have these ones listed for $30 on our website right now or on our uh, eBay store right now. These are the strobe. They're an ombre bedazzled platform wedge. And they're not too bad on the bottom. I thought they were in pretty good shape. Not much heel drag or wear there. So, yeah, I'm hoping about time that it's spring break and everything. Hopefully those will go for $30. Um, you can see me come across some different kids' Crocs, but just none of them were in the condition I really wanted, and none of the little jibbit things that go in there 
were real exciting and I really don't know how to get those out of the shoes either. I should find out how to pull those out of the Crocs. Um, but kids Crocs overall have a 35% sell through rate on eBay and I definitely would grab them if I saw ones that were cute designs or specific designs like if they were, um, I don't know, Mickey Mouse or Star Wars or Minecraft. There's, you know, certain um, styles that it looked like they sell pretty good on eBay. So if I saw something that stood out a little bit, was in a good condition, I would grab them. Jason had grabbed this Hammerschmidt jacket. It was a linen jacket. I was not real sure about it um, when I was doing all the comps and things. I thought it was such a cool jacket, but it had a dark stain up on the lapel. I was not sure I could get that out. Um, so I ended up leaving it behind. Right now, they have a 30% sell-through rate on um, Hammerschmidt items overall in eBay. When you look at their site, they have some beautiful things, beautiful quality made German clothing. Um, I saw on eBay people definitely put in like Oktoberfest and things to try to sell the items. Um, just that stain scared me off of this one. Um, but I don't know, in the future, if I found it again without a stain, I definitely would give it a go. I was thrilled to find these Viore shorts, but lo and behold, oh, I tried to use some different stain removers. They have, and I snagged them trying to get that dark stain out there, and it just almost looks like ink, so I thought maybe I could get it out with a, um, with a stain remover, and then it's got some stains on the back there. I was devastated. These were laying right on top of one bin. They're a Viore and an XL. I have never found Viore at the thrift, let alone at the bins. So these were like a dollar, and I could have turned them into 30 or so dollars. Viore men's shorts, they have a 200% sell-through rate, and people are getting anywhere from 25 to $40, and they're quite pricey when they're on their own Viore site brand new. So we'll show you a little bit of the um, Viore site here as well, so you can see you know, what their uh, newer designs are looking like. I found this, and I'm guessing it's Lumiere, L Lumiere shirt, and it had one of those tags, you know? It looked like it could possibly be a good designer because a lot of the better designers will tag, uh, tack their tags on, like just in the corners. So this shirt had that. So I decided to look it up. It was not, not a good one. 5% sell through rate. And I'll give you a little tip here. When I was looking up this brand, it pulled up a lot of Beauty and the Beast items, of course, because of uh, Lumiere, the Candelabra character from Beauty and the Beast. So a lot of those shirts were coming up. So I typed in Lumiere women's shirt minus Disney. So then that cut out all of that. So I just got this brand. And that's when I determined it was a pretty low sell through rate that wasn't skewed by all of those Disney items coming up. <clears throat> so it's probably a boutique brand that just doesn't have a good sell through rate on eBay. I found this purple velvet shirt with sequins and beading embellishment on the v-neck. It is a um, silk blend. It's a vintage shirt. I grabbed it a dollar, you know, and I put into its keywords on its eBay listing, dark academia, goth, grunge, witchy, those types of words to try to pull up people looking for those, um, those trendy items. I believe that it has about a 12% sell-through rate for this brand, Carol Little. I have it listed for $20, so I'm hoping it goes quick. It's been up for about a week now. 
Jason found this Indica top. It was new with tags, so you know you definitely want to look up anything at the bins that's new with tags. It was really cute. It had like a very nice feeling material. It looks like a boutique brand, and a lot of times boutique brands just don't have a good sell through or command a very good price. Uh, so we ended up leaving that one behind. Then you will see that we found this pile of Jarts t-shirts. Um, I don't know what somebody had here, but they had all these different sizes of these Jarts t-shirts made. Um, and Jarts, if you don't know, was an old game that has been pulled. You're not allowed to sell the actual lawn dart Jart game on eBay because it was dangerous. You would throw these pointed things up in the air and people would stab their friends and family, I guess, with them when they came down. Oh my God, Brent. What? Okay, we need to get you to the hospital right now. I'm fine, don't worry about it. What? Come down, I'm okay. I'll take care of it myself. Does anybody get any pliers? Um, so those have been pulled. I think there is like a newer version that's safer, probably doesn't have like a stabby end on it. Um, but I'll show you some Google results here of like what the old vintage Jart game looked like. Um, so I thought that was funny that somebody had a whole bunch of those t-shirts made, but it's just one of those, um, I don't know, illegal taboo items for eBay. So it made the t-shirt even funnier when I came across it. Um, but we kept everything pretty, um, pretty manageable today, everything that we grabbed. We only grabbed a few items from the bins. We were getting ready to move from Ohio to Appleton, so I didn't want a whole bunch of items to have to process. I was also cleaning out our closet and listing a bunch of things from our own personal closets that we wanted to kind of clear up some clutter there. So I really didn't need a lot of inventory. Um, we also went over to another store and we'll probably put that into one of our next videos here. We went over to a Goodwill in Bucyrus, Ohio. It's just opened up and I found a lot of dresses and just really nice things in that store. So that'll be interesting video too, I believe. But thanks for stopping back to our channel. If you've gotten any entertainment, any value from this video, just Drop a little like and hit subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It really helps us out. And if you want to, just drop a little high comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and hear what your thoughts are. Uh, so we'll see you on the next one.